welcome back. This is Rochelle from the DIY Affiliate on YouTube and the Secret YouTuber on TikTok. Congratulations. Today is the first day of the rest of your life. Welcome to the DIY Affiliates world. This is the first video that I am making for new authors to be able to make money from your home. In this video, I am doing a brief overview of the Kindle Create. You will learn the basics. This is the first step in your journey. I give you just the facts. Let's jump right in. You will need a computer and the internet. Find the link in the description. Download your Kindle Create software. Save it in your computer and install it on your desktop. Once you have the tool downloaded to your computer, you will see two options. The first option is to open an existing file, and the second option is to create a new tap on Create. Tap on Choose. On the left, there are a couple of different options to choose from based on the type of book that you are writing. A novel, an essay, poetry, or a memoir. You will choose reflowable. Tap on reflowable. The reflowable option will also format a print version for Kindle Direct Publishing. Choose a DOC or a DOCX file. Here is a tip. If you do not have Microsoft Word, you can always use the Open Office software. Find your file in your computer. Tap on Choose File. Create will auto-identify the chapters, titles, headings, subheadings that you already have in your file. Then it will create a table of contents. Import successful. Tap on continue. Bottom right, get started. In this pop-up box, you will see all of your headings in your document. To select or unselect any heading, you would just check the box or uncheck the box. When you highlight a line, it will appear in your document. You can then select or unselect the heading as you choose. You can also select all or reject all. To your left, you will see contents, you will find your front matter. Your front matter is the title page, the copyright, dedication, table of contents, preface, introduction, prologue, forward, and a blank page. You can add any front matter just by clicking on the plus sign and choosing. To your left, you will find the body. The body is where your file exists. The body is where you will find all of your content. When you click on the plus, you can add a part page or a chapter page. To your left, the back matter. This is found on the back of your book. You will find sections such as books by authors, about the author, books in the series, praise for author, epilogue, a foreword. At any time you can choose the plus and add any of the back matter simply by clicking the plus sign. To your top right, Choose theme.
you have four choices to choose from modern classic cosmos or amur based on what is going to work best for your book's genre tap on select once you tap on select you will notice that the elements will support the theme that you choose to your right, you will see your elements, such as your chapter title, your chapter subtitle, and your first paragraph. You also have other elements, subheading, block quote, poem, separator, and opening quote. To use the elements and to choose the elements, you would then simply put your cursor in the beginning of the word and choose the element. chapter title, chapter subtitle, opening paragraph. Always remember to save your work. At any time that you want to change any of your elements. You would highlight your element and choose formatting. Quick tip, anywhere that you place your cursor, you will be able to see the current element that you are working in. If you choose to take the element away or to, to choose to clear the element, tap clear and the element will go back to body text. S top right is your save. These two buttons are very very important. This will undo anything if you've made a mistake and this will redo if you feel that you have undid something by mistake. Example, undo, redo. To add a subheading, highlight your text, choose subheading. Block quote, highlight your text, choose block quote. Poem, Highlight and choose poem. You can add your a separator if you choose. If you need to add an opening quote, choose highlight opening quote. Anytime you want to identify any elements that are on the page that you are working on, you would just place your cur cursor at the first character and you will see on the right hand side the chapter title. Ch chapter first paragraph. Opening quote. To your right, formatting. The formatting will give you your bold, your italics, and your underline. You must highlight first the text that you would like to edit, and you can choose your bold, italics, underline, change the size, change the color. This is any one of these elements. You choose the element and then you choose formatting. You can also change the alignment to the left, 
to the middle, to the right, and justified. Indents should be set by the theme that you are using. Top left, this is insert. You can insert an image, a chapter start image, a table of contents, or a hyperlink. To insert a hyperlink, you would just highlight your text and choose hyperlink and copy and paste your address in this editing box. You can also insert an image simply by right click, insert image, or you can also insert a hyperlink the same way. Insert image, you would choose an image Add a description for screen readers, also called alt text. Choose your size. And click out. To choose a chapter start image, select the image. Choose your image size, 25% of the page, 33% of the page. Add a description for screen readers. Use your mouse to grab the screen and look at the images of the tablet, the phone, the Kindle e-reader. See where it fits the best and insert your image. Click out of your image. To insert a hyperlink, highlight, highlight your text. Right click and you can insert a hyperlink right from your page or you can tap on the plus. Titles. Place your cursor in front of the first character and choose the element. Chapter subtitle. Place your cursor in front of the first character and choose the subtitle. Highlight your text and choose your element. When your text is highlighted, you can change elements. Chapter title, chapter subtitle, subheading, block quote, opening quote, poem, as an example. To publish or print the reflowable file will also give you a, a file that you can print for a paperback. So you want to look in your print settings and choose the one that you would like to see. When you are finished with your file, you top right, preview, and here you can look at your file with a, with a tablet, with a phone, and with a Kindle e-reader. You can use the forward arrow to go through your document or the backward arrow to go through your document. You can also choose the table, or you can also look through the table of contents and it will jump to what you want to look at. You can move anything on your left hand side simply by drag and drop. When you are all done with your document, you will then choose Generate. Give your document a name, 
save it. You will see the folder that you can check to see where your document is. And this file will now be ready to be uploaded to the Kindle Direct Publishing. Kindle allows you to use the same files that you would use for your reflowable uh, document to be able to publish not only to an ebook but to a paperback as well. This has been a brief overview. I hope this has been helpful to you and understanding the basics about how to use the Kindle. I will be going more into detail as we get further into the program. Thank you for watching this video. If you have found this video helpful to you, then give this video a thumbs up. You can join the Facebook group. You'll find the link in the description. You can join the WordPress website. As a member, you will have access to all of these videos and also other information that you may find helpful to you. Leave me a comment. Tell me where you are in your book, whether it's just an idea, or if you've started a book but didn't finish it, or if you just want to find out how to self-publish your own book through Amazon for the future. Whatever your goal is, then leave me a comment and tell me what it is. And then I will know who you are and I can help you. Stay safe and have a wonderful evening.